So do not worry saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly fathers know he knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. That's Matthew chapter 6, verses 31 through 34 out of the New International Version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this marvelous Monday. Yes, what a wonderful way for you to start your day. Holding fast to your commitment to pray, and we believe that Thrive, a church that prays together, is a church that will indeed thrive together. I celebrate all of you that are here with us and those that were with us yesterday for our Sunday worship experience. Uh, God truly met us, amen, in the house of God, and we had a powerful time of worship. If you missed the message from yesterday titled Kingdom Seekers, I do encourage you to go back and look at the replay on our Facebook page or on YouTube or even on our on our Thrive Church app or our website. Either way, um, make sure you go back and watch the replay because I believe that God is calling us into this season. There's actually Lady Brooks and I were talking about it. Um, we're sensing a shift in the atmosphere in this season. I was saying that about this time last year, uh, God kicked in a shift in our in our ministry and it set us on the course for pursuing after his face and seeking after his face. And I believe that uh, something similar is happening this year as well. Uh, we're in the second half of this year of 2021. And I believe that that God is doing, um, he's doing a shift in our ministry and we're going to be more intentional about pursuing after him. We celebrate the fact that you show up. I thank God that you've shown up every day. But now I want to challenge you to not just show up, but to press into the presence of God. Amen. And so we're going to go ahead and lean forward into our devotional for this week, which actually ties into what uh, what we're talking about even now. And the, the, the theme is titled Decision Day. I want you to type that in. I want you to say that aloud. Say it's Decision Day. Yes, my brothers and sisters, every day is decision day. We were talking about this yesterday. Perhaps you've heard of the the term or the phrase midlife crisis. You maybe even heard of what we talked about yesterday, a quarter life crisis. Yes, both describe an emotionally significant event or radical change of status in a person's life. Now, this word crisis, it comes from the Greek word krisis with a K, K K-R-I-S-I-S. That's how we would spell it, which means decision. So in other words, crisis really means decision. At the heart of every crisis is a decision that must be made. We were talking about quarter life crisis. We were talking about those of us who are at this age of between, you know, 25 to 35, we begin to decide or figure out what it is that we want to do in life. And my brothers and sisters, the model that we have, not just those who are in this age bracket, but for each of us is Jesus. In Matthew chapter four, we find this 30 year old Jesus who right at the epicenter of crisis, he is he's just been baptized. He's he's fasted. He's prayed. And then we find that he's been tempted by Satan. You could even call that a climax at that point if we're talking about storytelling. But at this moment, we find right there in Matthew chapter four, at verse 17, that Jesus says these words and the scripture says that he began his ministry from that point. And he said these words, 
repent or change how you're thinking for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus made the decision at the most pivotal moment of his life at the age of 30 to start his ministry. He made a decision. And my brothers and sisters, when he made that decision, he locked into that decision and he pursued in that decision. Today, my brothers and sisters, I, I want to present before you a, a list of decisions that we're going to hit throughout this week. We're going to we're going to make a decision on one thing per day. And today, my brothers and sisters, I want to challenge you to decide to follow Jesus. I want to challenge you to make that decision. You say, well, pastor, what do you mean? I, I am following Jesus. Let's let's really push that a little bit further. For some of us, it's just been enough for us to show up. For some of us, it's been enough to just simply be in the building or to be in the room or to be on the prayer call. And I know that that really that really was a, a win for you. And I celebrate that victory. But now I want to, I want you to stretch a little bit further. And I want you to truly follow Jesus. Today is decision day. Every day is a decision. That means in every way I'm going to follow him. I'm going to follow him and in my, my spirit life, I'm going to follow him um, in my in my natural life. I'm going to follow him in my family, in my marriage. I'm going to follow him in my finances. I'm going to follow him even in how I how I take care of my flesh, how I take care of my body. I'm going to follow him in every way. Because if we were honest, there are some of us and I, I can I can testify to this for for Enrique Dante Brooks that will follow him in the areas that we're comfortable with. But what if we had to follow him where it wasn't so comfortable? Where we didn't have as much confidence in ourselves as we normally would. And really, that's the point. This whole text that we just read in, in, in Matthew chapter 6, what Jesus is teaching us to do is to lose confidence in ourselves and to put our confidence in God. But in order to do that, we must follow Jesus. The number one way that we're going to follow him today is that we're going to make the decision today. Today is decision day. That we're going to follow him. I want you to say that aloud if you mean it. I've decided to follow Jesus. Yes, I've decided to follow him. Even though I may not be able to see exactly where we're going, I've decided to follow him. And the beautiful thing is that when we decide to follow Jesus, we truly get to experience the grace, the peace, the love, the joy, everything that is associated with being a follower of Jesus. Now, this is the first step. Every day this week is going to be decision day. And we're going to decide on another item tomorrow. But today, this is where it starts off. Maybe you're here, you just kind of dropped in and you're in a position where you really don't, maybe you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I encourage you today to make the decision to follow Jesus because this is where it all starts. Even those of us who say and, and, and don't be so so um so so um how do i say don't be so heady or big-headed to say well, well pastor i've been in this for a long time allow yourself to examine your life with the spirit of god and see where am i not following him fully and follow him in that area we're making the decision to follow jesus 
All right, let's pray on this marvelous Monday, on decision day, day one, we are going to follow Jesus at all costs. We're going to follow him. We're not going to follow our our desires. We're not going to follow what makes us comfortable because there's no way that you can experience all that God's had, all that God has for you in comfort. We're going to follow Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we honor you today. We glorify your holy name and we magnify you, Father. Lord, forgive us of all of our sin. And Lord, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Make us right in your presence. And Lord, we give you praise. Father, we honor you. We thank you for allowing us to see another day. We thank you for allowing us even the opportunity to still decide. Father, for some of us, we recognize that we have not been all in. We have not been all the way committed that we've only followed you to the point that we were comfortable with. But today, Father, we make the decision. It's decision day. And we've decided that we're going to follow you. We're not going to have one foot in and one foot out. Father, we're not going to just want to want to be with you one day and then we abandon you the next. No, Father. We've decided to follow your son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, that's the best person to follow. Lord, Jesus said this. If any man wants to follow me, he must deny himself, pick up his cross and follow me. Father, today we deny self. I deny Enrique. And Lord, we pick up the cross and Lord, we follow your son, Jesus. And I believe, hallelujah, this is a moment of transformation. This is a moment of crisis, a moment where things are going to change or or a significant change in status in the church today. That, Lord, we're going to be locked in into following after Jesus. No more just simply being occasional in our relationship with you or even casual in our relationship with you. But, Lord, it's time to be serious about following you. And, Lord, I believe it's changing my sister's heart. I believe it's changing my brother's heart. I believe it's changing our children's hearts because we're deciding today to follow Jesus. And as we close out this prayer, we pray the way that Jesus taught us to pray. And we say, our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And Lord, lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the hand of the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, amen. God bless you all. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church. I thank God for each of you being here with us today on this marvelous Monday. Remember, God did not make you to just get by. He didn't make you to barely make it or struggle or strive, but he made you to thrive. But thriving starts when we decide to follow Jesus. Have you decided today? Somebody say, I've decided to follow Jesus. I love each of you. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the same time. Take care. Bye-bye.